Hello, Karen. Welcome to our gallery. Thank you. Um, I'm very glad you came here today. We are the biggest art gallery in The Hague, and we've got contemporary art, figurative contemporary art. Um, this is a gallery where we've got new exhibitions every six weeks, and we've got artists from Italy, from Belarus, from the Ukraine, from France, from the Netherlands, of course, um, <clears throat> from France. So <clears throat> the amount of artists coming here is large. We are very selective when it comes to the quality of art that we choose to exhibit here and uh, to show to our clients. Mm -hmm. We have, at the moment, <clears throat> uh, two floors open for the public. Uh, we've got sculptures and we've got paintings. Um, my suggestion is you walk around. Uh, our gallery is open five days a week, mm -hmm. from Wednesday through Sunday, mm -hmm. and particularly in the summer months, it's very busy. Uh, it's so nice to see tourists from all over the world walking in and being transformed by what art does to them. Yes. Mm -hmm. The idea of beauty, the idea that, you know, if times are difficult in the world, mm -hmm. we look at things which are beautiful and inspiring. Well, life is good. Yes, yes, you and can forget your cares. Absolutely. Yes. And the artists, what they do is mostly <clears throat> is autobiographical art. So the artist experiences something which is happening in his or her life. Mm -hmm. And thus, in his language, he brings it out. Mm -hmm. And that's why you will see <clears throat> completely different colors and textures and topics. But these are what we uh, try to show to the public today, what's happening today. Yes, because they're all contemporary artists. They're Absolutely. all living, they're all creating right now. Yes, yes. We, we, do, not, um, we do not have uh, artists who are not here with us anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, because the idea is that the art is evolving, mm -hmm. like life is evolving. So also the topics are evolving as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here, for example, you will see <clears throat> this Dutch artist called uh, Hannes Verhoeven. And the interesting part here is that children, if you can see them on the other side, yeah, I'll go children, out. Have, children are wearing masks. And those masks ah, yes. are from uh, 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 a pig, uh, a bull. A bull. Mm -hmm. What it means is that children in the countryside are exposed to nature and to animals. And animals inspire them and also are their great teachers. Yes. Right? Yes. <clears throat> so, and you will see that there's the wings there, yes. as if the child when is not happy with what he or she sees, he or she can fly away to a better place. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's really beautiful. Please come and enjoy. Yes. And if you've got any questions, well, I'm happy to ask your questions. Thank you very much. I really well, appreciate your uh, welcoming me in. I'll probably, um, uh, I did have a question, I know I can't remember what it is, but I'll hit you up at the end if I have some. Thank you so Perfect. much. Okay. Karen, this is one of the best uh, sold artists um, for quite some time here in the Netherlands. He's Peter Geyser, and he does something really, really special. Is with a lot of different paints, um, he creates this texture, which is thick and very rich. It's delicious. And what yeah. he does, really, is bringing the idea of summer and color and warmth into our homes. When particularly in from November till May, which is really dark, right? <laughs> <laughs> and and it's it's grey and cold. Now <clears throat> people love it because of exactly that. It's an art which is you can place it anywhere in your house, mm -hmm. and it brings light, it brings inspiration, and the idea of hope. It's going to be like this in a couple of months. That's the idea. Yeah, and it's very happy. It's exactly. very happy. Yellow is one of the happiest happiest colors. Indeed. Yeah, and I I actually took. a picture earlier because I was drawn to yeah. the, the movement and the texture yeah. and the color and exactly. the joy that's yeah. in it. And it's a joy of painting also. Yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah. You can see that you immediately feel happy about it, yeah. right? Yeah. And the same artist produced as a joke, these doors. Do you see the doors? Those oh, are there are his? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. funny. Yes. Yeah. I took a picture of the dogs. I thought, yeah. they, I thought they were hilarious. Why do they have golden tongues? Do you know? Oh my god! Shut <laughs> <You never laughs> <know>. up, Bob! <laughs> gold, okay, they're gold diggers. Alright, got it. <laughs> and, uh, and then this one, 
This is um, Juana Chue. She's a Chinese um, painter, ah. lives in the Netherlands, uh -huh. and she's always painting tables. But the beautiful thing about these paintings is that he, she creates a story that you finish. Because you see a lovely painting, you see beer, champagne, wine glasses. <clears throat> the people are not there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they weren't swimming. Mm -hmm. They weren't sailing. Mm -hmm. They just left it here. Mm -hmm. So this is the evidence that they have a great time. They had a great time. And they're now somewhere else. And they were there were a lot of people, or they were very heavy drinkers, or a couple. I think I think that uh, <laughs> I think that good question. This culture, <laughs> this Dutch culture, yeah. we've got a word in Dutch which is gezellig. The idea that we celebrate something together, right? Mm -hmm. And this this um, unity of ideas, of laughing, of having a good time, sharing things, right? <clears throat> so that's why there's so many, because you know, yeah. um, if you mix beer and champagne and wine, the result might not be the correct. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting that she's Chinese and she's uh, grabbed onto this yeah. Dutch culture yeah. well, and to present it this way. She's married to a Dutchman. Ah, okay. And that's what happens when you've got these mixed couples where um, the culture of the, um, the person from the country is given in a different way mm -hmm, to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not that you need to learn the hard way. You're somebody who's holding your hand and who's teaching you the secrets about, you know, what does it mean to be here? You know, what is, um, what is really important for us? And this word gezellig means this feeling of coziness but being together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being in, in communication with somebody else that we like. How nice, how lovely. Yeah. That's such a, such a nice warm sentiment. Yeah, well, yeah. that's one word. Makes me want to be Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and then I wanted to show you something over there as well. This here. Mm -hmm. She is a painter from uh, a region called Friesland, uh -huh. here in the Netherlands, uh -huh. and she is a colorist, meaning that she, her art is, she sees colors in a way that most mortals cannot see. And by combining the colors, she creates depth, she creates tension, and she creates beauty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She says, I cannot paint something that I do not see. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> that's uh, that's her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My friend uh, Simone, who came in with me, she was telling me also that um, uh, the Netherlands are known for your clouds, mm -hmm. for the cloud formations. But you know why? Why? Because the country is so flat uh. that everything happens up there. <laughs> <laughs> because it's so flat, nothing changing. No surprises. Right. No mountains. No hills. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you look up and then you see the clouds moving. See. The speed they're moving on there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Constantly. Oh, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Well. This is the only country we've got horizontal rain. Really? Because it's, oh, it's windy and the rain comes like this. It's, uh, oh. It's <laughs> okay, Dutchman. Dutchman. Dutch rain. Dutch rain. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me all of that. Yes. And there is one of my favorite. You see the throne? Yes. Uh, that um, is a painter called Nekrashevich. And he is um, uh, from Belarus. And what he did, he did a selection of seven paintings called The Emperor's New Clothes. Uh -huh. And what um, this means was there's an N for Napoleon. Uh -huh. And there's the golden uh, laurel leaves there. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And this is the last painting, number seven. And the first painting was a painting of Napoleon being crowned, which is an exact copy of the one in the Col Militaire in Paris. Mm -hmm. So the first one is all with regalia and all the beautiful <coughs> cape and beautiful clothes. Mm -hmm. The second one is his underwear, which is a white tunic. Uh -huh. The third one is naked. The fourth one is without skin, so you see the veins and arteries. Um, the fifth one is, you can see all the organs, rather more of it. The sixth one even was, because just a skeleton, sitting here, and this is number seven. So there's no more Napoleon. No one left. Here. No more, no more Napoleon. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very interesting. I'm going to have to look up. I want to see the first six, <laughs> I think. <laughs> and then this here, you see this, uh, this beautiful head. This is um, Tchaikovsky, is a Polish artist. Uh -huh. He's amazing. He only works 
in marble and in bronze uh -huh. and gold. Oof. This is gold here. Mm -hmm. And what you have here is that he creates a head where you can recreate the piece of art every time you want. Because you put it back, it's very heavy. Mm -hmm. right? you put yeah, it it's marble. Mm -hmm. And you create again. So we give him his head and all his ideas back. <laughs> It's very are. interesting. Where is he from? He's from Poland. Really? Yeah. His, um, his sculptures seem sort of African. Is that a big influence? Because, like, you know, you look at the features, he, there, he, they're, he very, they're very looking, African. He was looking for, um, for a black model in Poland. It took him months to find one. A black what? Model? model. Really? So is, yeah. Wow. And he says the beauty of the of the features you yes. have. Because in Poland, you have, you know, a very sort of homogeneous yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you have something more exotic. Yes, yeah, creative. yeah. And the then full then lips, the nose exactly. are just beautiful, and yeah. And over there you've got the body, the male body, the female body as well. Ah, I see, yes. <clears throat> there. And then you have the mirrors, you see? Uh-huh, oh yeah. Because it reflects on gold. Yeah. You see? <laughs> yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. It's a wonderful gallery, wonderful yeah. pieces. I, this painter I enjoy a lot, you know, yeah. having having just yes, been so over um, to the museum that begins with an M. Mauritius. Yes. Well, uh, <laughs> that is a jewel. Yes. It's beautiful. Yes, we were just there and looking at the um, the Rembrandts and the yeah. way he painted light and everything, and I I enjoyed. This is the yeah. same artist, right? Yeah. 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 I enjoyed exactly. seeing those a yeah. lot. But you can see in the way he paints the emotion. Yes. Theory. Yes. Right? Very much. Very much. Yeah, and that's what it's about. Yeah, very beautiful, yeah. wonderful collection of work. So, and um, that leaf over there uh -huh. is uh, an artist called uh, Lucas Van Aken, uh -huh. and he is um, he is only working with true um, leaves. Uh, he collects the leaves, he has them sent to him, he chooses them, then he um, processes them in a way that they always remain there, mm -hmm. <coughs> and then he uses materials to keep them for hundreds of years like this, mm -hmm. which are secret, but we do not know. Oh, really? Is that ceramic? No. What is it? We don't know? It, no, the, the leaf is a leaf. Oh. It's a real leaf. Oh. Then he dries them, oh. and then he uses the different uh, materials. He's got layers of something on there, yeah. Layers and layers of right. something. I thought maybe it was ceramic. No, no, no. It's a real leaf. Well, this is some sort of... Yes. Some sort of composite yes. material. And then you can see two more of his works outside when you go to uh, the window. Thing in the middle but he's, he's painted on here too. Oh, yes, of course. So yeah. it's a real leaf. A real leaf, but he's painted. Exactly. Okay. okay, interesting. Hm. A lot more to it than it looks like. Because I, I just thought it was ceramic, being a ceramic yeah. artist. Yeah. yeah. And this Very one, good. This is, not, this is the same artist as that one. Uh huh. This is Jabkowski. I have to. I have to. Uh, you I have to see what's in her head. No, it's, it's just one piece. Oh, it's one piece. Yeah. Okay. And that is opposed <laughs> to this is Bonsignori, mm -hmm. an Italian artist. Mm -hmm. And so many people come and ask me, is this a picture? Yeah, it and does look. It does look not, photographic. It's not yeah. A picture. It's a real painting. Mm -hmm. This is see how people go and look at it because they cannot believe that it's a real painting. Yeah. But it is. Yeah. And the gentleman in his uh, atelier, uh, he doesn't have windows. Is all um, artificial light, yeah. so that he can create yes. hour after hour with the same intensity, the same light. Because if there's a different light, mm -hmm. it will alter right. yeah. the result. Right. So that's why he. Yeah. And what's his? What is his? Um, is he working from photographs no. or no. No. on site? For, yes, for he sees. And then, um, but that's his his technique. He speaks, he goes very very slowly. It takes a long time to produce a painting, but they're just. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I went to um, I went to high school with a guy um, when the uh, when um, photorealism became a mm -hmm. thing in the seventies. Right. You know, and he was so skilled at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I always kind of felt like, why though? Because photography already does it. Yeah. You know, why oh, do we no, need to? The, the, the special <sighs> eye that people have. I'm sorry. The special eye that you yeah. have. Well, it's on hand, yes, you know, absolutely. it doesn't, you know, because that just doesn't happen just because he can correct, see it. Correct, well, yeah. Once I heard um, somebody who came to me once and said, um, if you have a gift 
and you do not work on that gift, that gift is going to make you sick, and one day will kill you. Wow, well, so yeah. You have to do what you want. Oh, I know, yes. And you need to do something with the gift. Yes, I know. <laughs> I've always told people that being an artist is, you know, like to, to create art is like eating. Absolutely. You know, it's something that you have to do. Exactly. Yeah. You're crazy at first. Yeah. <laughs> it's who you are. Yes. If you don't do, if you don't do what you were born to do, right. then it's a very empty life. I, I, can't, I can't not. You know, it, like I said, it's just like natu as natural as eating. And if I don't do it, then I'm starving. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. Is, is the food, the nutrients you see, you need for your soul. Yes. You know the essence. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Are you an artist as well? Um, I'm a musician. Oh, okay. You're an artist. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Great. So when I close the gallery, uh, I just, you know, I'm alone, and then I do music. Nice. That's, that's oh, I bet the acoustics are really nice yeah, up there. I get Sorry, but like, I, I'm getting your middle a lot. So. <laughs> no, 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 this middle. <laughs> Thank you again so much. Pleasure. Thank you for taking the time, really, to show it's me everything pleasure. and talk about it. And you're always welcome to come Thank back. Thank you. And if I can help you with any information, um, the, this, not only the beauty of this art, but what happens behind the scenes oh. is amazing. Oh. This, just, I will finish with this. Okay. This is um, an artist called Basmeus. Mm -hmm. And people think that it's one picture, which is not. Mm -hmm. There have been several pictures on top of each other. Like this is not one. Mm -hmm. This is not one. It's just one flower. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been taken pictures week after week of how it evolved. Ah, okay. So that's mm -hmm. the, like, the circle of life. Ah, uh, right. yeah, okay, yes, 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 okay. As opposed to this one, mm -hmm. which is, these also several pictures. So he has a photograph of one flower and a one flower. Then he creates a collage. Mm -hmm. He plays the insect as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here could be 30 or 40 pictures. And it's a still life. So what you saw in Mavi's house, the typical uh, classical idea of still lives in the Netherlands mm -hmm. is now recreated with photography. So the next one for Yeah, very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Karen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you come back soon. I will. I'll see you on the web. Excellent. Okay. <laughs>